Welcome to this video abstract, which is focused on the preparation of atomic FOC states, which are states highly desirable in high precision measurements and in atom interferometry. Our work was actually inspired by recent works uh, in the group of Mark Ryzen, in which they actually achieve uh, subpersonal statistics in Bose Einstein condensate. And the proposal we have in mind is to start with a very large uh, condensate or a very large number of atoms say in a smooth square well trapping potential in which we manage to confine a large cloud in which we don't know how many particles we have and now the idea is that we should be able to control the parameters of the trap so say the depth of the trap and as well uh, the width of the trap as well very carefully in such a way that we can reduce the parameters of the trap and therefore the trapping capacity so we will end up with a much smaller trap and the idea is that if we control these parameters carefully we will be able also to control the number of particles so we will end up with a focus state but now you may think that the best thing is to do this process in an adiabatic way but however this can take a very long time so actually it's known that for some systems uh, there is a breakdown of adiabatic theory so what we propose is to just change all of a sudden the trapping potential and see whether we can do well, whether we can prepare the focus state even in such a case. For this to work, it turns out that it's a uh, very good idea to uh, look or to work with systems which are quasi one dimensional. So this will be one dimensional systems, and this is going to be a uh, high robustness with respect to the uh, variations in the trapping potential. Moreover, we propose to work with the strongly interacting uh, particles, so we think of bosons, it will be in the Tonks regime, or non interacting fermions. So, both types of systems serve the same local correlation functions, so they have basically the same atom statistics. It's clear that if uh, we don't have repulsion between the particles, then we can put as many particles as we want in the trapping potential, so the whole procedure won't work. However, if we work with one dimensional systems, with repulsive particles, and we made a change all of a sudden, so these are the three points, the three valid points, then it can be proved that the procedure is stable and we will end up with a focus state. Moreover, the, pro the whole procedure is robust against variations in the trapping potential, so we can consider different type of potentials, so say square well, harmonic traps, and so on, and also the, is robust against uh, the effect of the temperature. More details can be found in the preprint.